Yes, hi guys. Today I am talking about in this lecture series area of closed curves. Okay, if closed curves are given, a closed figure is given, okay, then area we have to find out of this closed curve. Okay, that is the point of today. Okay, today's discussion. So, what is the area of closed curves that are defined in parametric form or it may be in Cartesian form? Okay, sometimes it is in polar form. So, both the formulae in polar form as well as in uh, parametric form let me define okay and if it is given in Cartesian form then we have to convert that into parametric form and the, what is the formula in case of parametric form okay let me find out what is the area of a closed curve okay closed curve in case of closed curve what we have to do so let me take so area of closed curve let me take a closed figure here and what is the basic formula let me define that if I take a closed curve let me take a closed curve like this okay and this is a closed curve let me take a closed curve which is of this type this is x axis o origin x dash axis y and y dash axis okay so we have to find out area of this closed curve that is the object of these questions here today okay so i have defined that how to find out area of this closed curve now if i take let me take p and q point here this is q point and uh, and if i take p point here and q point here this is q point sorry and this is p point okay now we have to find out what is the area of of this triangle P O Q, we will define that and what are the coordinates that we take in polar in polar form as well as in Cartesian form. If in Cartesian form, if I take then coordinates of x and uh, by P are x and y and coordinates of this is x plus delta x and y plus delta y because Q is in neighboring neighboring point of P. We have taken coordinates of x by I mean P x by and coordinates of q as x plus delta x and y plus delta y some increasing order okay and if i take okay now what you call uh, polar coordinates let me take this is r and theta this angle is theta then and this is delta theta okay this is r theta and this is r plus delta r and theta plus delta theta coordinates of q in polar form R, R plus delta R and theta plus delta theta. Okay, so angle is here. Delta theta we have taken. Okay, now if I find out what is the area of triangle POQ. First I can find out in polar form. After that I will take in uh, Cartesian form. Okay, or in parametric form. First let me take P and Q points. Area of a closed curve. Area of the closed curve of the closed curve this is any curve let me take the curve here is okay area of the closed curve let there are two points of the curve is what we have to find out there are certain suppose the parameter form of this curve is given okay of the curve let the para metric equations equations of this closed curve are are given as let me take x equal to f on t let me take in terms of t x action equal to x equal to f on t and y equal to let me take f to t okay so these are the two parameter form of this equation then area of the curve of the curve between between 
between the range. Okay, let me take x equal to t or t equal to, let me take between the range t equal to t1 to t equal to t2. Okay, between these two points is given by is given as half sign of integration. This is t1 to t2. If limits are t1 to t2, okay, we will take and this t1 to t2 will cover the whole area of the close of the whole closed curve is given by t1 t2. Okay, this is in parametric form we are talking about, and this will be x into d by dt minus y into dx dt all dt this is the formula which is in parametric form and this we will use a number of times this is closed figure i mean area of the closed curve here okay here let me take here the point okay moves from one point to the other okay once and to cover the whole area to cover the whole area okay if the point moves once and okay from one point to the same point Okay, then it will cover the whole area. Only once we have to cover it. This is to the other ones to cover the whole area. To cover the whole area. Means whole area is covered between T1 to T2. These are the limits. So limits are taken in such a manner that the area of the whole curve is covered. Okay. Area, area of the whole curve is covered. Okay whole area cover the whole area of the given curve of the given curve this is what we take this point t1 to t2 the value of t the parameter from t1 to t2 to the limits we will take and this is the formula which is given this we will prove that how this formula is obtained okay and the area which we know that what is the area of a closed curve uh, in case of polar form which is 1.2 limits again if I take theta equal to 0 to uh, let me take theta here okay 0 to theta theta will be the upper point up to which the whole curve whole curve is taken out so this is r square we know what this is into d theta this formula we have already obtained in polar form this is in polar form and these limits are here taken from 1.2 the other so that the whole curve is covered this is the formula for polar coordinates but this will take okay so both of these formulae let me prove so the area this cartesian form that are proved so let, let me now find out what is the area of this curve so let us take p and q this is the formula which we will prove let me take this is the area of the curve given Okay, so let P X by in Cartesian in Cartesian coordinates form and Q the neighboring points the neighboring point of P B huge coordinates let me take X plus delta X and Y plus delta Y in Cartesian form and in polar form in polar form let P is R theta and Q is and Q is R plus delta R and P sorry theta plus delta theta theta plus delta theta this is in polar form so that i have already taken these points so if i cover 
the area, let me find out the area then, the area, therefore, the area of the triangle, of the triangle O, PQ or POQ, let me take POQ, POQ, okay, POQ is given by, as we know about, this is equal to, how it is to be given, so first we have to find out what is area of this bigger triangle, so that is equal to, let me take this is half, we know that OP is equal to, here let me take OP equal to R, we know, OQ is equal to R plus delta R, that, that we know about, R plus delta R, <coughs> okay, and this angle, here let me take A, AOP, angle AOP equal to theta, angle POQ, angle POQ equal to delta theta, as we see here, okay, therefore, the area of triangle POQ we have to find out, which is given by PQ, sorry, OP into OQ, this is sector here, into OQ sine of angle POQ. This is the area of the sector POQ. The sectorial area is given by this formula. How sine, sine of angle? sine of angle POQ, how it is, but if we drop perpendicular or we join this point to this point and this is suppose right angle here, okay, and this is delta theta angle, so this is hypotenuse R per delta R, okay, so perpendicular drawn from P to Q or let me take join PQ, okay, then this perpendicular height, we can take base, half base into base is suppose OP and this is hypotenuse we have taken, perpendicular is this height, perpendicular height is PQ suppose, so PQ is given by OQ into sine of angle POQ or B to perpendicular from P to Q suppose and this is a right angle here, if I join just like this, this is a right angle, then this PQ is equal to OQ into sine of angle because this is perpendicular, this is base here, this OP is R, this is given by 1 upon 2 into R, OP is R, OQ is R plus delta R into sine of angle, this is delta theta, sine of delta theta here. Now if I express sine delta theta in terms of angle delta theta minus delta theta whole Q upon factor 3 plus delta 5, sorry delta theta whole 5 upon factor 5 etc. Then we take the smaller values only. And this area will be 1.2 r into this r into delta theta only. Because r, no, sorry, this is r into r, r is square, first first point. Then delta theta will be this. So let me take, uh, let me open this. It's r into r plus delta r into this is nothing, sin delta theta is delta theta minus delta theta whole cube upon factorial 3 plus delta theta whole 5 upon factorial 5 etc plus sorry minus sin and so on. This is delta sin delta theta opened okay in series form. So first this delta theta only we have to take because that is a smaller value because this will be 1.2 r square this r into r into delta theta. Okay, so this is the first area in polar form. If we take the integration between the two limits, then this is uh, r square delta theta. Okay, or r half, and if within the limits on integration, because on integration we have to find out the area of the whole curve. In that case, we have to take the limits. In integration, we have to choose the limits. We have to choose, okay, the limits, the limits in such a manner so that it can cover the whole area. In such a manner so that it can cover the whole area, so that it can cover 
the whole area. If I integrate this within a limit, then the area, as we, all, we have already, I mean, already defined in the previous lecture series, this is limits. And the angle here may be theta equal to 0 to theta equal to theta, let me take. Okay, theta may be any angle, upper limit, or theta 1 to theta 2, whatever the angle is, into r square into d theta now. So after integration, we put it as d theta. This is the area in polar form of this whole curve, closed area. Okay, so this is the first formula we take. Now, if I find this in Cartesian form, let me find the area in Cartesian form, which is of, uh, I mean, uh, which we have to prove that area of this closed curve in Cartesian form is of what kind and how it is open. Area P O Q. If I find out, so area of triangle P O Q, or this is P O Q. Let me take P O Q. Okay. So again, if we draw join this and draw perpendicular like this, then we have to find the area which we are always carry out. So this is the one point two half into now, if I take area of this whole triangle O A O Q, let me take it will be x into y plus delta y y. For well, this is the base x of P point here, and then this is to be drop a perpendicular form Q to this area of Q O A is x into base x up to this p point back um, base we will take and i will this of q ok sorry this base to this perpendicular by coordinate is by pro delta by minus sign this is y uh, ok and this is x plus delta x into x plus delta x y this y is the height of this p and this q is x coordinate is x plus delta x Okay, so this will give us from this x coordinate of q is x plus delta x into y. Okay, into okay, this is the area between the two, uh, or we can say that a or if I take a o q minus a o p, so this is that area. Okay, so this is this can be now solved as this is 1.2 x into delta y because x y x y cancel out so this is x into delta y minus sign this is uh, y into delta x okay now if i to integrate this within the limit here then what it will be so integrating it within the limit say t is the point okay so integrating integrating it within the limits within the limits okay for parameter t for the parameter t okay from t equal to let me take q1 to t equal to p2 Within these two limits, we have to put here dt, capital, or delta t. Okay, so let me put that here. So area in Cartesian form will be so what kind? Therefore, area P O Q. Therefore, area P O Q. This we are taking O P Q of yeah O P Q of P O Q. Okay is given by okay so area of the whole curve this is limited area opq which is this area of the whole curve or we can say or area of the whole curve here in this case we have picked the area of the curve area of the curve equal to limits uh, sorry this is half half limits we have to put t1 to t2 
Now this is x into if I put it as delta y or dy upon dt okay, because within the limits you have to differentiate it with respect to dt. Okay, this is y into dx upon dt and we can put here dt. So this is the formula here. Okay, within this limit here xy xy cancel out and only x into delta y minus y into delta x is left over then if we integrate this with respect to t okay so this is x into d by dt delta y upon delta t you have to put here y into delta x upon delta t or we can write like this this is what the formula is we have to integrate this within the limits t1 to t2 so this formula is to be now what is the positive or negative side of this area okay we are moving from p to q okay in anti-clockwise direction what is anti clock then the area will be positive or we can say that if the observer let, let me take i am the observer and i'm moving from p to q so in the left of left side of mine this area is there so in my left side if or observer's left side if area is lying then that area will be positive this is we are moving to anti-clockwise direction so p to q if we are moving p to q in anti-clockwise direction then this area will be positive okay or if we are moving in opposite direction means in clockwise direction like this then the observers right inside this will be then this area will be negative direction is like this this is clockwise in that situation this area will lie on the observer side right side of observer or if the area is lying on the right side of observer if it is if he is moving okay in the right hand side of observer if area is lying then it is a negative if in the left hand side area is lying then that area will be positive this is how positive negative direction is taken okay let me define that also what is the area positive and negative so if observer is moving from p to q if observer moves from p to q from p to q in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction or the area lies this is l by es lies in the sorry in the left side of the observer this is anti clockwise when observer is moving anti clockwise that means area this area is positive why because it's lying in the left side of the observer left side of the observer then it will be positive then it is positive then it is positive and if it is and if it lies okay and if it lies in the uh, right side of observer right side of observer then it is negative then it will be negative this is the consideration for negative and positive areas okay now if i take let me take a area which is a closed area but it is intersecting itself how it is intersecting if i take suppose there is an area like this and here we are moving in this position this area will be positive this is plus positive okay and uh, then observer comes out to be like this now observer is moving in this direction if i take this is o point this is a point this is b point okay this is that would be c point and this is d point here so the observer is moving 
they sprung O to A, B, O. That means this observer's left side is this. The area is lying in the left hand side of the observer. So this area is positive. Now when observer moves to this side, like this, this is this area is lying in the right right hand side of the observer. I'm moving to this side. This is the side here, so this is negative here. So total area of this will be plus and negative. So difference of these two, or oh, we oh, what we do, we find the area two areas separately. After that, we add them. If sign is negative, then we will subtract the second one from first one. That is the process of finding the areas. So we find the two areas separately. After that, we will add them. If it negative sign, negative sign will be kept. This is the process of finding the area, closed area of the curves. Okay. This is the method of finding the area, closed areas of curves. The formula I have just taken. This is the formula here in case of Cartesian, sorry, parametric form. This is Cartesian parametric form. So the parameter here is t. If I take d theta, then this is x into d by upon d theta plus y into, sorry, this is minus sign, I think. But I'm taking plus sign here, this sign, sorry, minus sign. The difference was there. It was different, minus sign. So this is minus sign in between. I'm sorry. This is minus sign here. The so difference of these two areas will give us the whole within these limits t1 to t2. It is x dy dt minus y dx dt and uh, into dt or with respect to t. If the parameter is t in this case, this is the area, formula for the area. What is negative is taken in this way. So this is the closed figure here. If I take this closed, closed figure, then this is positive, this is negative. Okay, so that I have already defined. Now let me take questions one by one. What are the questions here? Now to solve them. Let me take question number one here. So the formula which we have to apply for closed curve, this is the formula which we have taken here. The same formula will be used to find out the areas of closed curves. Okay, so areas of closed curves. Let me now define. Areas of closed curves. So first point is for the question here. Okay, to take. So first question is it says if A is the vertex, okay, O the center and P any point on the hyperbola x square. Okay, upon A sorry. Upon a square minus y square upon b square equal to 1. Show that x equal to a cos hyperbolic 2s upon ab and y is equal to b sin hyperbolic 2s upon ab. What is s here? The sectorial area. The area of the sector here. Where s is the sectorial area. Simple. OPA. Sectorial area. OPA. O is the center here. P any point on the curve on the hyperbola and A is the vertex. Let me draw the hyperbola here. So we know that what is the shape of the hyperbola. Now this is the hyperbola here. Left side and this is the right right side. The same figure we have to take here. This is A dash. Let me take this is here. This is uh, O. O the center here. So the A is the vertex here. O is the center here. Take this is the center here. I'm sorry, A is the vertex here, and O is the center. This is the O. A is the vertex of the parabola. This is A here. This is A dash here. This is O. And P we have taken a point on the curve on the this. And if I join this point, okay, let me take this point here. Okay, so this is the point here. We have taken on the hyperbola, P point. Now, if A is the vertex of the hyperbola, O the center, center, or maybe here in this pole or origin, let me take x axis, this is y, y dash axis, x dash axis. Okay, x, 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 o, x dash, y, o, y dash. Okay, 
is the axis. This, so this is the hyperbola, shape of the hyperbola. We have to find out this is the sector here, OPA area. Now here at A point, theta is 0 or let me take 5 here. Because in case of hyperbola, let me take here 5 is equal to 0. Here this is the angle and here at 5, let me take this is equal to 5 or theta equal to theta. So first we will take parametric form of the parametric equation of this or let me take x equal to here okay r cos phi r sin phi y equal to r sin phi x equal to r cos phi so those formula will take or parametric form if i take and it is in terms of phi let me take okay so phi the value of phi we have to find out because this is an angle sectoral area we will find out and here angle a cos hyperbolic phi suppose if phi comes out to be true s upon ab then this is true so x will be then a cos hyperbolic 2s upon ab so let me take x equal to a cos phi if the coordinates of p are okay this is question number one let x equal to p for a here i'm sorry so take a here a cos hyperbolic let me take phi and y equal to a sin hyperbolic phi b the okay polar equations of the curve here b the or here phi is the parameters we can take parametric equations here let me take parametric equations here okay so let me take here the so phi is here parametric b the parametric equations of the hyperbola of the hyperbola of the hyperbola hyperbola is given here of the hyperbola x square upon a square minus y square upon b square is equal to 1 okay now we have to find out what is dx upon so here we will take phi in place of t what is the formula here so that x equal to a cos half of phi and y equal to a sin half of phi here here the par parametric form here 